And you see here, this is the, I believe, the penultimate question, so the second to last question. Pause the video now and have a go. Okay, so the cylinder has base radius of 2x and a height of 9x. So what I'm doing is checking here to see whether I'm, uh, anything's not shown in the diagram. The cylinder is melted down and made into a sphere of radius r. Find the expression of r in terms of x. So first thing we need to do is work out the volume of the cylinder in, in terms of x. And then we need to get that equal to the uh, equation for a... Um, uh, uh, sphere which is given to us in the form of the booklet and then we just uh, get that in turn uh, so get that so it's r equals so the volume of a, a, a cylinder uh, is the cross-sectional area times the um, length so to find the cross-sectional area uh, let's write down what we're doing so volume of cylinder equals so it's pi r squared and so r is 2x so 2x squared and then we're times it by the length so times I'm going to put times there so the squared doesn't get muddled up 9x now the tempting thing to do here is write 2x squared, but it's both of these that are squared. It's the 2 and the x, so it becomes 4x squared times 9x. So here we've got uh, 4 times 9, which is 36. We've got the pi, and we've got x x squared times x, so that's x times x times x will be a x cubed. Now it's saying it's melted down, so the volume of the cylinder will be the same as the volume of the sphere. So the formula for a sphere is uh, 4 thirds pi r cubed, and we're saying that that's equal to 36 pi x cubed and so what once here is r equals so we've got to get rid of all this stuff off this side so first thing to realize is we can just get rid of the pies pies can go and divide both sides by pi in fact and um, perhaps I should write that down if I'm running out of space So what I'm going to do is explain it to the side so we can save some space. So 4 thirds r cubed equals 36 x cubed. And so I'll put in brackets here, divide by pi, which is what I've just done. Okay, um, now I need to get rid of the 4 thirds. So what I can do is times by 3, uh, sorry, divide, uh, yeah, times by 3 and then divide by 4 both sides so when I times by 3 uh, and divide by 4 times by 3 divided by 4 is 27 and that gets rid of that so what I've done here is divided by 4 thirds both sides and should write both sides or something maybe there and I've got r cubed equals. Well, I don't want r cubed equals. I want r equals. So to get r equals, what I need to do is cube root both sides. Now, when I cube root this, I've got to do both. So cube root of 27 is 3. Because 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. And the cube root of x, square, x cubed sorry, is just x. So it's r equals 3x. We write down r equals 3x, and that's our answer. Perfect. Okay, let's have a look at the mark scheme. See how well we did. So uh, let's work out the volume of the cylinder first, get it equal to the volume of the sphere, and then uh, make it r the subject, which is that. 